What's up guys, welcome to another Zero to a Million episode and today we are standing at a special spot, you guys have to see this, so flip around, look at this view, rooftop bar, so imagine having an ice bath on the trellis here, looking with a view and we host like a really cool function at the back here, there's another function as well, um, we just spoke to some of the guys at Luma Capital, so this is actually their building private equity firm if you want to do investments you have to check out Luma Capital or maybe share a link at the bottom of this video as well and um, I'm just super excited one of the things we started thinking about is creating the coolest ice bath experience ever because you know Advanced Studios we're all about experiences so imagine creating the coolest experience ever so having fun while we're scaling our businesses and making money it's kind of the idea so guys just this is absolutely cool it's got this whole seating area apparently not allowed to have a bride on the rooftop of a big ass building <laughs> so and then at the back on that side we've got all another section where we can run events and then a bar area where we can run some of the functions so guys if you're keen on this let me know um we'll check it out for maybe some of the functions maybe have like a super cool cocktail iron function having an ice bath challenge with a view just don't jump over please <laughs> but guys right next to porsche absolutely amazing so let me know what you think and uh, pop some messages in the comments are you up for a rooftop ice bath experience with a view let me know cheers okay guys done at luma capital check this building out so they own this entire block and there's a gym there's co-working space there's a whole bunch of different stuff so um really cool people here it's uh, really cool so i'm gonna actually put in some cash into uh, luma um, just seeing the operation here man this is cool so minimum investment 100k so you need to have 100k to invest and um, yeah just super cool people saw the operation looked at some of this stuff they're also listed now managed by FSB and all sorts of stuff so yeah let's see what happens with this partnership we're gonna run our first event ice bath so either ice baths with a view or option two is Let's create an ice bath that breaks the Guinness World Record for the most amount of people that goes through ice baths in one day. Do you know what the Guinness World Record is? I don't, I've been Googling. It looks like it's 509, but I don't know if that's simultaneous or in one day. So busy figuring that stuff out. Guys, we are on the way back now to the office. We just have two meetings quickly, one hotel and one park for potential collaboration. And then carry on with the rest of the business and then tomorrow team meeting. Okay guys, so Luma Capital done. Next up, Centurion Lake Hotel. Um, walking in here now. Don't know what. <laughs> just a cool partnership. Look at these cool decals. So um, yeah, just chatting about partnerships, potential venue. venue, And uh, let's see what happens. I'll catch you up to date as we walk out. Hey guys, so yeah, at Centurion Lake Hotel. Uh, there's the lake, not so pretty. <laughs> Swimming pool and the rest of it's really beautiful. And the decor, they have like this really natural vibe going here. And then inside, they've got big ass restaurant. It goes all the way to the back. And um, really competitive with their pricing. Like you can order some amazing food here. I looked at the menu now, I was like, that and that's not bad. And then they've got, let's actually show you this thing. So we specifically came to have a look at their venues and their conferencing facilities to potentially host it. So here is a venue, so it can seat, I think 250 people. So pretty cool for that size. And then they've got a whole bunch of small venues. They've got a boardroom upstairs, which is very cool. But I want to show you this bar here. Just have a look. Here's Blanky. Hello, Blanky. She's uh, busy working on her emails. So here's a boardroom type thing. And check this bar area here. So they've got all sorts of sport memorabilia who remembers brian laura so that one brian laura can you imagine so is that brian laura i just see laura so i'm assuming it's brian laura let's see yo brian laura wasting this can you believe it and they've got a whole bunch of different things here and they also know some of the um 
owners or managers, whatever, super sport path. So for our ice bath, Guinness World Record potential event <laughs> that we thought about like a couple of hours ago, we can possibly host it there. And just have a look at like all this decor. They've got um, very natural type thing. Everything's wood and the concrete and leather couches. And all around you'll see all the sports memorabilia and just going back in history with sports. So guys, we're gonna head out back to the office. I've got a ton of work to catch up on. Um, and then I need to go look at what my ads are doing, what's the conversion on the ads, I'll create a short video about that. So otherwise than that, I think we are done for zero to a million for today. Um, yeah, boring outside. So I'm not gonna have another video except quickly going through the, through the ads. So guys, uh, yeah, stay tuned, some big stuff happening. Like Hey guys, so just got back to the office and um, yeah, really cool day. Met some amazing people, got some really cool introductions, Centurion Lake, Luma Capital, um, just super, super cool. And then came up with some amazing ideas, some things to push us even further outside of our comfort zone. Um, I'm going to quickly show you, just got back to the office. It's about half past seven. Just quickly want to check the ads and then I'm going to head home. And um, so far, unluckily, no sales yet for our next event. And the ads only started running yesterday. So I'm going to swap my camera around, record my screen from my phone. You need to ask me, please, will you stop doing that? Like, please, will you just use a screen recorder so I can see it? And I attempted it now with OBS and I, and I couldn't figure out the... Um, parameters how to set to not record because there's some client stuff on our ad accounts and so on so i don't want to record that and then and then and then. i couldn't figure out how to set the dimensions especially when i switch tabs so i'll leave that to the pros they can help me with that tomorrow so for tonight i am recording my screen from my phone <laughs> so i'm going to swap it around take 30 seconds to do that and then i'm going to say good night guys hope you have an awesome evening and i'll chat to you soon ciao Okay, right, so quickly going through the ads that we're busy running. I noticed a couple of things. Number one is our pixel on Rand Studios isn't working. This is on the new page that I created or new websites I created specifically for this challenge. This is Experiences Matter. And uh, this pixel is working. So, yay! <laughs> so on this one, you can see our websites initiate checkouts. So this is the ads I set up yesterday. Nine initiate checkouts, no purchase events yet. It'll show a purchase event when it sits there. And then link clicks, we can also view our link clicks, how many people actually click through. So that one's 17, that one's 338. Whoa, why the difference? So cost about the same. This one's 44 bucks for initiate checkout, not bad. Uh, this one was 27. I need to go check why that was so cheap. And if there was actual sales. So two sales, messaging conversion started, Add to cart purchases one purchase from this one and let's just have a look at this one so add to cart purchases three from this particular ad so we can view like through the different ads this one was uh, also initiate checkout initiate checkout hmm, interesting so only these top three is running now that i set up yesterday what the big difference between link clicks between these two? So I'm using link clicks because they're really cheap to start building your audience and then I retarget with initial checkout and then we retarget with the purchase. There's a problem, I missed a zero. So there you can see what's the difference in link clicks, why you need 10 or 20,000 Rand a month when you're running ads. So if you budget at 50 bucks a day, which gives you, what's that, 1,000 bucks a month sort of thing if you're running Monday to Friday, uh, yeah, it's just not going to achieve much. 17 clicks. With this one, 500 bucks in one day, we achieved 338 clicks um, with a reach of 37,000 people, impressions 40,000, and link click average 108. So we can actually change the setup to view uh, performance and clicks, and then we can see how many people clicked through in total with the different ones and what's our click through rate. So 3%, so this top one's actually, even though the budget's very low, it's performing really well from a click-through rate perspective. So we need to increase the budget. I normally don't do this because it's only run for one day. Um, there's no Instagram account. I haven't had a chance to create an Instagram account for the 0 to 90 yet. Um, so that's fine. 
I uh, just want to quickly have a look at this one and change the budget. So normally I don't change the budget, otherwise it goes back into learning mode. On this one, because the ad is so new, I actually don't mind changing the budget. You spend 17 Rand, you'll use 500 bucks from today till Saturday, etc. What a what a. Okay, thank you, Facebook. Please update my budget. And then, so the new budget will go up and then it'll go back into learning mode. So if you change the budget more than 20%, then it goes back into learning mode, which is not ideal. We want to get it out of learning mode so it can start targeting. This is where it starts optimizing for the right um, audience. So it'll take a day or two or three. Um, we've got enough time, we still have eight days before the event. So now it's to just start optimizing that and then retarget custom audiences with the new share checkout. Then I'm just going to zoom in quickly or let me pause the video then because there's custom information on here, zoom in and then show you the next piece. Okay, so this is on the back end of WooCommerce and yeah, we can see actually where our sales are coming from. So this is for the previous event, all the sales that came through, the cancelled, we had an issue with our things that didn't pick up properly. Most of these people came through in any case and it shows me from what platform it actually came through. Was it direct? Was it referral? Was it our links? So yeah, we can see who purchased tickets from us sending them the links on groups, etc and who completed purchases based on what platform we were marketing on. So pretty cool. But if we scroll right to the top, so 10th of Feb, it is today the 12th. I set up these ads last night on the 11th. So no new sales yet, which means we have to wait for the stuff to go out of learning. And then possibly tomorrow we'll have two or three sales and then I'll pick up as time goes on. And then Tomorrow is Tuesday, so then on Wednesday, start running initial checkout campaigns. So that is it, sorry, for uh, today's video. Zero to a million, really cool day. Guinness World Record, ice bath, potentially coming up. Let me think about it, first day. No, actually, let me not think about it. Let's do it, let's do it. Screw it, take action. What's it, Virgin? Uh, screw it, let's do it. So guys, screw it, let's do it. Have a blessed evening, chat to you soon, ciao.